my hotel, when we present the collective bargaining to the management, just they are agreed to fulfill our demand. We, we present them 31 demand, just they are fulfilled, they are agreed to fulfill just five demand. After that, we go for the government office, you know, labor, labor, labor office. Then when management is coming over there, they are agreed to fulfill our demandment, uh, you know, demand 15, 15 points. They are agreed. Started the strike, uh, just we, you know, running on a fifth days. They call us, uh, they are called for the meeting. And a six day, they are agreed to fulfill our demandment, uh, you know, demand 20 points. That's why this program is very helpful for us, you know, for the collective bargaining. In our workplace, on our enterprise level, uh, most of the youth workers are working in our uh, enterprise level factories or workplace. And, and if they know about the process of bargaining, uh, CBA, and they, have to, they can put their demand letters uh, to the, their management. We have many problems. Also, we have a lot of workers to use, uh, like it's like food, guide, us, uh, us, whatever. And those people are, uh, you know, the overseas company. Sometimes they haven't paid a good amount because workers, workers do very hard work because they promote the good business from out of countries. When they get to here, all clients, western, whatever, and uh, they use the porters to. Uh, working hard work, but company sometimes doesn't pay the good fear for uh, you know who people work hard. So normally during the main challenge is the establishment of the union itself. You know, during the time of the establishment of the union, they faced the lots of the harassment and lots of the uh, pressure made by the management. And once they establish the union, and there is the another challenge that is the when they submit the chart of demand, there is the another type of the harassment. Sometimes they transfer to one place to another place. Sometimes they uh, the employer ask the individual workers to come to the boss room, and they start to threat. You must return, withdraw from the your uh, signature from the chart of demand. They are also facing so many problems in. Uh, uh workplace and uh, there, there are many issues uh, to be addressed for them. Uh, due to the lack of uh, awareness or lack of skill, they are still behind them. They cannot uh, put their demand letter to their uh, management due to lack of their skill. So this, uh, I think this training uh, is the very fruitful for them. How to submit the chart of demand and how to, uh, how to, how to write the chart of demand itself what kind of the language they must use and what kind of the, the, the language they, they should use during the time of the negotiation, how they compose the bargaining team. That is also the most important things when they are making the bargaining team. At that time also they have to think twice, thrice. So I am just giving the experience to them and then they, lots of the workplace they, they improve regarding this. Last, I am trying to make a simulation method. Simulation means the role playing. Role playing. There is the three groups we already established. One is the labor office, one other is the employer, and another is the trade union. And now we are planning to make uh, negotiation among themselves. By role play method, they ultimately know that what is the quality bargaining is and what is the negotiation skill, what kind of the tactics they, they need to use, that they need to apply during the time of the quality bargaining, how do they make the negotiation, how well, That's just because uh, I want to make sure all the incidents, the people working in the regions, and the uh, right amount to pay, what the government uh, announced, uh, and in the future, when they retire, they need to make sure for bonus or whatever like uh, insurance uh, things and look after very well for education for families. And uh, youth is the, uh, our defense main agenda also to the 
to make the youth as a campaigners of the trade unions uh, in future trade unions movements? Uh, if this kind of program is held here, then it's very, you know, uh, very good for us. We are gaining lots of knowledge from these programs. And uh, I think this program is very, you know, supporting for us.